Too in the hot weather has the Guardians coming up with a new game plan for fans. They will be offering complimentary water and allowing fans to bring in their own small personalized fans to the game and they will need it as our Guardians are one of the hottest teams in baseball. One of the best. Speaking of the best, there he is. I, I, I said it. I did. You are really one of the best. Good to have you back, buddy. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it, man. I'll tell you what, it just takes me two and a half months to, for a little sabbatical to leave, and you'd be nice to me. This is phenomenal. But, yeah, I'll tell you what, the Guardians are hot. The weather is hot. Typically, the dog days of summer in, like, mid-July. We bumped it up early to mid-June. But before we do that, before we get talking, I got my boy Jeremy Fedor over here. We're going to do a quick one-pitch home run derby. How about it? All right. I got one arm here because of the microphone. Rock and roll. He said he was pitching. Nope. All right. That that was not good. Come on. All right. Let's see if Jeremy can do any better than that. I'd hope so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're, it's going to be a phenomenal weekend right here at uh, Progressive Field. All right. I'm doing underhand, so I make sure I get it there. Oh, Lord. Okay. My goodness. Right back at the pitcher. My goodness. Jeremy Fedor, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, because we're talking about the All-Star game, it's coming in quicker than you think. And Jeremy's probably going to be getting a few more votes than I will this year on the Wiffle Ball All-Star team. But uh, Jeremy, tell me a little bit about the All-Star game. There's like a new voting process, or at least it's kind of a complicated process. It's not just like whoever gets the most votes or it's decided on by the peers. Tell us about it. Well, there's two, uh, two different uh, periods of this. The first period just came out, and, um, and yesterday actually we got the results. Posey's uh, in uh, first place for third, so you need to finish in the top two for your position or in the outfield in the top, um, I think it's six, and then it goes. Who is ahead of Jose Ramirez? No one. Jose's oh. number one. Oh, I thought you said he was top. Yeah. Okay, all right. No, yeah. Jose's number one. Um, David Fry and Naylor are third, so they're just out of that top tier, so we got to bump them up, get them up. Um, Jimenez is fifth. Um, and, and Quan's in the top four. Uh, he's the fourth highest uh, outfield vote getter. And, yeah. Um, you know, our guys have a great shot to represent us in Texas. Let's get David Fry. Let's get Quan. I mean, Quan's almost batting 400. Let's get Josh there. I mean, Hosey. He's a, he's a perennial All Star. I'm a I'm biased, but I think just the AL All Star team should just be the Gardos. You know, just get the just lay out the whole team. But how can fans get involved? How can fans go on and vote? CLEGuardians.com/vote is the best way. You have five times a day, so um, you know it's it's not even six o'clock yet. So if you're watching this, go online, vote. Remember tomorrow to go vote. Today is Sandy Alomar's birthday. That'd be a great birthday gift for Sandy to go yeah. vote for the Guardians. Uh, absolutely, especially some of the amazing All Star moments that Sandy Alomar has had, guys. I mean, get online vote but also there's so much to do here at Progressive Field a six game homestand we got the Mariners coming up this week and then this weekend we have the rubber match a rematch of last weekend's game against Toronto and a lot of different things coming up as well we're going to be talking about that all morning long I think they're doing two tickets for 24 bucks I mean you're losing money if you don't take that deal Dave so we're going to have more all morning here yeah good all right stay cool there Austin we'll see you in just a little bit good I'm always to see cool, you again. Val. cool as a cucumber most of the